This is a video from Greening Library that will show you how to use library databases for your assignment to conduct an analysis of an industry and a firm that is a major player in that industry for your strategic management class. This video will talk about the library and how we can help you. We'll talk about how to find business resources on the library website, how to search business databases to conduct an analysis of an industry and a firm, and we will talk about how to locate APA citations and resources for APA format. First, let's go to the library website. Um, you could see a link to the library website on the left-hand side of my FSC. Um, you could also just go directly to farmingdale.edu slash library. So this is the library homepage. You're going to see our contact information and our hours. Librarians are available to help you anytime we're open. We're open every day of the week during the fall and spring semesters, and we can help you with anything related to research and finding information, including using databases and finding articles and books. We can also help you with citing sources. So don't hesitate to stop by the reference desk to ask us questions or give us a call or send us an email. So for this assignment, we're going to use the research guide for business. Um, so we're going to go to research guides and we will select business. Okay, so there are a number of databases listed here. Um, let's first take a look at one that's called Business Insights Essentials. So you can see that this database is used for getting information on companies and industries. So you can browse a list of companies here. It also has a list of most searched companies. Or you can put in the name of the company that you are researching in the search bar here. So in my example search that I'm going to use today, I'm going to use Walmart as my company and the industry would be the retail industry. So you can search for your company here, um, but I have Walmart that's actually listed here, so I'm just going to select that. Okay, so this gives you a company profile, including an overview of their revenue, number of employees, hierarchy, and an overview of the company. On the right here, you'll see the SWOT analysis which shows you the company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Anytime you're looking at a piece of information in a database, like a report or an article like this, you're going to see options for getting the citation for it. So on the top right, um, there's this cite option in quotation marks here. Um, you can select APA 7th edition for this course. Um, and that is the citation that you would be able to use in the reference list at the end of the assignment. You would also need to provide in-text citations every time you refer to information that is coming from somewhere that is not your own. Um, so there are directions for doing that and I have linked some videos and other resources in the video description. So on the top right, there are more options for saving the report or article and sending it to yourself. This is helpful because you want to keep track of where all your information is coming from when you're working on your assignment. So you can use these options like saving it to your drive. Uh, you can just go to send to here and these options come up. You can also email it to yourself. Uh, there's also an option to get a link directly to this resource, to this page. And this is important because if you use the URL at the top of the page, that is not a permanent link and it won't work when you try to use it later on. So you can see the actual report here, the SWOT report, it gives you a lot of helpful information. And then if you go down to the bottom of the page, you'll also see citations here. Just make sure you select APA for this class. So let's go back to the company page. You'll find more information here. Um, on financial performance, including balance sheet, cash flow, income ratios, investment reports. It shows financial performance over time as well. You'll also see the company's competitors and you can use this option to compare companies. So we can go to compare and we can put in the company name. So one of them was Amazon and you can see that there's a lot of different options for Amazon. The one that was listed on the previous page said Amazon.com Inc. So we're going to select that one. 
And then the other top competitor was CVS. Okay, and then you can select whether you want to compare the revenue or employees. And if you want it as a table or a chart. So that's just one option for you. The next section talks about the company's industry, which is useful for your assignment. So for example, Walmart is in the retail trade industry and it's categorized as a warehouse club, super center, or other general merchandise retailer. This is broken down into two sections. So let's take a look at one of them look at warehouse clubs and super centers. It gives annual revenue, employees, companies, industry overview, um, industry reports. Let's open up one. Um, it gives an overview of the industry, its background and how it was developed, and current conditions of the industry as well. And at the bottom it lists the sources that were cited in this report. Um, and just like the other pages, you will see a citation at the bottom, so use APA for that. Um, and then other options for saving, just like we saw earlier, are listed at the top right. So let's go back to the industry page. Um, we see top companies by revenue, we see related industries as well, um, and then articles and reports as we move toward the bottom. So here are some company pages, like the Walmart one we just looked at. There are also articles from academic journals. There are market research reports, trade journals, for example, Long Island Business News. Um, there are market share and rankings, magazine articles, news articles, and more. So that was an overview of Business Insights Essentials. Let's also take a look the Hoover's database next. Okay. So you can search for a company at the top right. Um, so we're going to keep our example company of Walmart in this search. So we're going to see some basic information about the company and then on the left you can see categories of information here. So we're starting out with the summary and then we see the company description. Uh, we see its history, um, we see some information about its executives and different teams of the company. We can also take a look at the SWOT analysis here. Uh, and again, just make sure you're keeping track of where your information is coming from for your citations. This database doesn't have a citation feature, but there are directions for how to cite Hoover's information, um, which information from this database that's linked in the description for the video. You will also see news about the company. Um, you will also find information about its competitors, its closest industry peers, annual reports. Let's open one up. See, so this gives you a lot of information here. It's very detailed. There's its SEC filings available, its stock reports, information on financial health, and then other financial reports and information. So if we go back to the summary page, it does list the industry here, so we would be able to just click on that industry. On this page, you would get the industry information, and you would just follow along on the left side, just like we did for the company. Okay, so that was an overview of the Hoover's database. Next, let's take a look at a database called Statista. Let's take a look at the industry first. So I'm just going to do a search for retail industry for my example. Our first result is statistics and facts of the retail market worldwide. And you can see that this is a topic page, so it has a lot of different types of information on it. So let's open that up. So this gives us an overview of the industry with some major topics listed. It also has some key statistics listed here. 
um, for example, the total retail sales in the US. So we can open that up. When you're getting information from Statista, be sure to note the source of your information um, and to document where all your information is coming from. So over here, this is telling us that this data is coming from the US Census Bureau. It tells you the name of the survey, the date, and it provides a citation here. So you just go under citation format, make sure APA is listed, and that would be the reference list citation at the end of your assignment. Um, you can also download this in different formats if that is useful for you. Um, so let's just open up one as an example. This is the PowerPoint, and it gives you different options for how the data is displayed. Okay, let's take a look at some other examples of statistics. They have relevant information for the market overview, selected retail markets, leading global retailers, and more. If you go back to this page where we first searched, you can use the filters on the right to look for specific types of information like market insights and company insights. You can filter by a certain geographic area, a certain industry, and by the most recent information as well. So you can also use Statista to research your company. Just put the company name in the search. The, the top result here is a topic overview, which gives us some background information on the company. Uh, this is similar to the industry page, then they give you the editor's picks, um, and then some more data organized by topic. Alright, so that was an overview of Statista. So let's just take a look at the business research guide one more time. You're not limited to only the databases that I just showed you. Feel free to search others that are listed on this page. Um, so I'll just take a look at one more in this video. Let's take a look at business source complete. If you put the company name, you will see many different types of sources in your results list. One of the top results might be a company profile, like this one here. You're going to select full text to open it up. Okay, so this is the report here. In this database, you can use this yellow page icon on the right side to get the citations and just scroll down to where it says APA. If you want a link to the document, you would use this option over here and to get the permanent link. Um, and then you can also email it to yourself if you want to. Let's go back to our results list. This database is also helpful for getting a SWOT analysis. Um, and you can see one here. You can also search for the company name and SWOT in that main search bar. This was an overview of how to search library databases to find information on companies and industries. Look at the video description for links to other videos on how to format citations and APA citation style. Please don't hesitate to stop by the library or to contact us for assistance with this assignment or with any other questions.